Hey guys, it's an Oswald here. So, this is going to be the vlog where me and Jill are heading to the Glasgow Christmas markets. So, Christmas jumpers are on, and um, it's not too stormy or snowy outside, which it was yesterday. So, this should make for perfect vlog uh, weather for the Christmas markets. So, we're going to head out soon, and uh, you're going to come with us. Catch us on the road. <laughs> So, here we go, and this is going off to the Christmas markets. Hi, Joe. Hey. Right, let's go. So we're just on our way to the Christmas markets. Um, so the way the Christmas markets work in Glasgow is there's one down at the St. Enoch Shopping Centre and there's one in George Square. So the George Square one's quite a bit bigger. It's got a Ferris wheel, it's got a lot more bars you can go and have. Mulled wine, mulled cider. Um, the St. Enoch Centre seems to have kind of more worldly food. So they've got like Indian, Chinese, um, Turkish. Yeah, Greek. Uh, Greek, kind of different kind of world flavours. Um, whereas the St. Enoch, not the St. Enoch, the George Square one's got more kind of festive stuff. So like pigs in blankets, Yorkshire pudding wraps, um, kind of different things like that. Um, so I think we'll probably go to the St. Enoch one first. Um, and then head up to George Square because the lights are amazing when it gets dark. Um, so if you've been to one of these Christmas markets before and you've got a favourite food stall, um, let us know down below. Or if you've got a food, food market, food food market. Food market. <laughs> yeah. if you've got Christmas markets near you as well that are awesome, um, let us know down below as well. Glasgow City Centre is pretty mauled as you'd expect for halfway through December. Shopping bags everywhere. But it's worth it just because of how absolutely gorgeous everywhere it looks. I mean, look at that. It's just magical. I love Christmas so much. Just for stuff like this. It's just amazing. A drink, Joe? It looks amazing. Well, yeah, so this is us going up to the City Lux Christmas Market just now. Uh, let's see. So, once you've seen the big German Bavarian bratwurst stand, you know you're in for a good time. Um, so we're going to go take it some money and then go get some food. Look at that Christmas market gloriousness. This is the currywurst from the kind of Bavarian stand. So, let's get in with this. This is one of the best stands they have here. I just love it every year. You get the going much. Can we have a bit, Jill? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's a so good for me. That's so good feature. The big line for the churros. Always is. Churros look amazing though. I hope you can see them, look at that. Yeah, 
yeah, he has some really good stalking colors right about here. There's the Greek kebab place. And then you get some yellow paella. That's Italian. That's not Spanish. <laughs> no, I'm talking about my, my accent. Paella needs to Beckham Mac station. Oh, yeah, so this is where you can go and get your mulled wings and your mulled ciders. I won't be having a mulled wine because I'm driving, unfortunately. Oh jeez, you really can. That's a mighty strong. Oh right here, this is my favourite stand out of all the food stands. The garlic potatoes here are amazing. I don't even know what's so good about them, but it just works so well. And the cheekiest stand of the Christmas markets, Kedon Nando's. I thought that was you. <laughs> You know that way that you just think to yourself, this is probably the worst time ever to try and vlog this. A Sunday evening? Weekend. The weekend before Christmas, really? An absolute disaster. Oh, the smell of those crepes, though. It smells amazing. This Coffee Express place, Joe got a, what did you get here last time? A Bailey's hot chocolate. A Bailey's hot chocolate. And it was incredible. So good. So Jill's gonna get some salt and pepper and fries. Yeah. Does look good. Love that salt and pepper life. It's a good life. So Jill got our salt and jelly chips. That looks pretty salt and good. Chips. They're really tasty. They're just like yeah. And I decided to get something very Christmassy that I've never tried before: roasted chestnuts. So I have no idea if these are going to be any good, but. Home. Let's see. Not for me. What do they taste like? They're really crispy and crunchy on the outside. I taste kind of like green beans or something. Do I try one, Jill? Um, you've made it look so tasty, but I think I might just stick with my chips. Thanks yeah. anyway, though. Hey, okay, Jill's decided to be brave. He's going to see the shell in it. I'm gonna put a button here that does the 1000 years later. <laughs> 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 I'll 
Melbourne then. Well, it's worth a try. Bye bye. So, that was the St. Enoch's part of the um, Christmas markets. So, we're currently walking through Royal Exchange Square, which is the place with the amazing ceiling. And right, look at that. It's magical. <laughs> so, just heading up to the George Square markets just now. Um, I'm going to get my garlic potatoes. Um, maybe get some churros. Make some mulled wine. And some mulled wine. Oh, the mulled wine. Christmas in a cup. Um, but yeah, so catch you up there. And welcome to Jurassic Park. No, welcome to the George Square Christmas markets. This is a lot busier. I know. This is going to be an absolute nightmare to try and vlog. Um, so, what I'll do is I'll try and give you a run through of it. I don't know how successful this will be, but I will try my best. So we got the Christmas driver and non-driver special, a hot chocolate with cream and a mulled wine. And Joe got a nice picture. <laughs> so, how's your mulled wine, Joe? Uh, I've not actually tried it, it's really warm. Sunday afternoon, Sunday afternoon, Sunday afternoon. Is it warm? Is it warm? Is it warm? Oh, really strong. So this bar has been a bit confusing because you have to get to the bar and you have to get my cash. You go get your tokens first and then got to get your drinks. I have no idea if you can hear us anymore because the music's really loud. I don't know what I'm driving, but the load is back. These garlic potatoes, you can't really see them just now because they've added cheese, you can put cheese on them now, which is just an incredible touch. But um, these are the best food here, by a mile. And the guy has recognised me, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, because I've had these about three times now. But I got a peek and a coke at it. So, loyal customers, that's what they get. But, oh, I'm so excited. There we go. Simple, yeah, amazing. Dog Jill had to get the staple of the Christmas markets. Uh, Snickers churros. Aww. So, uh, <laughs> do I take a wee bite there, Joe? Yeah. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> They're Aww. just covered in chocolate sauce. There you go. Oh yeah, that's a good joke. Okay, so we had to put that. We're gonna head off, head up the road, and maybe go see Aquaman. So, yeah, we'll catch you next time. Um, if you like this video, like and subscribe down below. And um, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye bye.